It's the biggest airport in the world built from scratch. Istanbul's new airport will have a capacity of 200 million passengers and is expected to become the busiest air travel hub in Europe. The sheer size of the project and logistics mean it's been constructed in four phases. Monday marks the completion of the first phase, which sees the opening of two runways and a terminal that can hold 90 million people. It will definitely contribute as well to the worldwide aviation industry because with this infrastructure we will be able to increase our slots and the ATN number, the aircraft traffic movement numbers. It will double, it will triple with the other phases. Turkish Airlines will make the first passenger flight from the new airport in Istanbul to Ankara, while the first overseas flights will be to Azerbaijan and the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. It won't be until December that all departing and arriving flights are transferred from Ataturk Airport to here. A large-scale construction project like this doesn't come cheap. The airport is estimated to cost more than $11 billion, but is expected to contribute as much as $42 billion to the Turkish economy and create up to 225,000 jobs by 2025. We had this independent uh, strategy, uh, we conducted independent investigation on this issue to have to see the uh, economic impact with the triggering industries, not only aviation, so tourism business and others, and hotels and others. And we see this number, it is uh, very optimistic, by the way, very optimistic number. For centuries, Istanbul has been at the crossroads of Asia and Europe, and now its new airport could cement its place as a global meeting point into the future. Caitlin McGee, TRT World, Istanbul.